Hey everyone, this is Jay Sones. Uh, this is going to be a quick guide to overhead messages and why you want to use them. Uh, have you ever been interrupted while casting a spell but not noticed until it's too late? Uh, have you ever been PK'd even though you have 100 scale and tracking and you're, and you're thinking, damn, uh, I should have saw that arrow? Uh, have you ever been stuck on your character not moving and you're running around and you're wondering why it's not moving? Only to realize the game saving and you miss that message? Uh, Ultima Online is great about showing us this information, but by default it's over here in the bottom left. Uh, and most of the time when I'm playing, I'm actually looking at my character, right? Like I'm engaged with the character, and so I'll miss a lot of the stuff that's happening down there. Uh, so overhead messages can help us uh, see what's going on, right? Uh, but how do you enable this and how do you set these up? So that's what we're going to walk through now. Uh, on the general tab, you want to make sure you have a profile, right? I said this in my last video. I'm going to say it in every video. Make sure you have a profile. The reason why is because every keybind and all these things that you set up are then saved to that profile. So you can use the same uh, profile on multiple characters, or you can even have different profiles for your characters. And once you set up enough keys and maybe you make a new character, you can then clone it so you don't have to actually reset up everything again. It's just very helpful. Um, so we're going to start off with please subscribe here because this should be an empty message counter display. Um, but where we go to enable this is this display encounters tab. Okay, There's multiple sub tabs here um, and we're going to focus on the overhead messages today. Uh, so step one is to make sure that the show overhead check mark box check box is clicked. Uh, because if you set everything up and you don't have that clicked, you won't see anything. Um, so basically how these work is it looks for in-system messages. Um, so again, if we're looking at the journal, it's not going to be able to pick up on people chatting. It's not going to be able to pick on UC. Uh, it's only going to be the system dash or system uh, colon message, right? Uh, so but what we're going to do is we're going to tap into some of these system messages, right? Um, I had mentioned that, hey, the world's saving. We just missed it, so it's going to take about 15 minutes to do that. But uh, we can set up a message to tell us that the game is going to save. So what we're going to do um, is type that into the search, OK? So it says system, the world will save in 15 seconds. So we're going to type in the world will save. Okay, and we hit search. And what it's going to tell us is, hey, we're not able to find that message, but would you still like to set up something with this? And we're going to say yes. Uh, and it's going to ask us what text would we like to display overhead. So I'm going to say game will save soon. Okay. So basically what's going to happen here, this is now active. Okay, so the next time the system reports a message saying the world will save, game will save soon, will show over our head. Okay, um, and so we're going to set up all three uh, world save messages here, and then we'll look at it later once this actually loads. Um, so the world will save soon. <laughs> the world is saving. Search. It doesn't find it. That's okay. We're going to say yes. Game saving. Okay. And then world save complete is the next message. So we'll say world save complete. Search. And then we're going to say game saved. Okay. And right now these are all going to show up in green. Um, and we're going to change the hue on those just so they're not um, all green. But nice way you do that is you click the text that you want to change and you say set hue. You can type in a number here. Uh, we'll just use 18 or you can select it in the game and it brings up this little icon here and you can kind of choose. Um, but we're going to use 18. So 18 for these ones. Set hue 18. Set hue 18. Okay. So next time the world saves we'll see these messages. Um, the other important factors is tracking. Okay. Um, this is tracking has been amazing, but it really didn't help me out until I set up an overhead message. So, in order to do that, uh, 
you need to be hunting something, right? Uh, normally, by default, I'm just hunting reds, uh, but we're going to switch that to just hunt anything right now, uh, just so we can see what this looks like. So to give you an example, I don't notice anything right now because I'm looking at my character. However, it's picked up pure water, and the pure water is over there to the left. See how that little arrow's there? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually type in, tap into these system messages. Okay, so system now tracking pure water. So if you say now tracking search, it doesn't find anything. That's okay. And we're going to say enemy nearby. By default, again, it's green, and it basically shows you enemy nearby because each time the system message comes up, it checks against these this list, and it finds one. So we're going to set the hue on that one to be red so I know that there's an enemy coming. So next time that happens, it should be red. Enemy nearby. So now, if I cancel this, all right, so this is how you set up a major uh, interrupt example. I'm going to cut back to a couple of me fighting in a circle here, um, getting interrupted. But there's also a, just a quicker way to test this to make sure it works. Uh, and it relates to hotkeys again. So we're actually going to go over to hotkeys. We're going to scroll over to spells, scroll down to spells. And there is a interrupt uh, feature, hotkey. Okay, I have it on the tilde, which is next to the one. Okay, and if you hit this without doing anything, you can actually hear a noise play. I'm pretty sure it just attempts to pick something up to interrupt your spell. Um, but if you start casting and then hit it, it breaks your spell. And so same thing. This message is a system message, and it shows down here in the bottom left, but I'm not watching that. I'm watching my character. So... Let's go ahead and make a overhead message for that um, by going over to display counters. As you can see, I need to click show overhead and we're going to search for your concentration is, is that how you spell concentration? Concentration is disturbed. Search. Okay, cool. So this one actually found it, and then say add. Uh, interrupted. Okay, um, and we're gonna click this, set hue, preview game. We're gonna make it yellow. Okay. So now I'm gonna cast uh, res again, and I'm gonna interrupt myself. So now I get a visual feedback around my character that I am not continuing casting. Switched over to my uh, my main profile, just to give you an example of what I have uh, currently as overhead messages. Uh, I have now tracking with enemy near in red, distance to destination in orange. Um, that normally means that someone's following me or I'm trying to follow someone. Um, the shot hinders your target, which is my stun. Your strike disarms your target, which disarms them. A uh, pin cushion is my codex proc. I just like to see it above me so I know that it happened. Because uh, sometimes it happens when they die. And I like to feel good about myself. Um, you may now attempt to disarm. Is disarm ready? And then these game saving ones that we just set up. Uh, I also have you reach the rank level up. Uh, for my codex. So anytime my codex reaches another level, I get a nice little level up message. Again, it makes me feel good. Because uh, these are all things that happen in the game already. They just happen in the, the left corner here, and I never see them. Um, all right, if you stuck into the end, I appreciate you watching this. Um, viewing the edit it is a lot longer than I want it to be. I need to learn how to make these shorter. But uh, if you guys have any feedback for what you want to see next or how I can improve these videos in the future, let me know in the comments or in Discord. I uh, hope this was helpful.
talk to you later.